So, you're thinking of studying music at the University of Melbourne. Great choice. The Melbourne Conservatorium has an outstanding reputation for advanced music training. You'll be learning from leading national and international practicing artists and researchers with incredible industry ties. There are six majors to choose from. Music performance with a focus on classical and symphonic music. Composition, where students learn to compose their own works. Musicology and ethnomusicology, where students choose to research world music and examine the importance of music. Music studies, a program tailored to diverse music-related careers. Jazz and improvisation, to explore contemporary music performance. An interactive composition, exploring music and sound creation for a range of contexts such as film, gaming, and art. Each major is a three-year degree with an optional recommended fourth-year honours. The first thing you want to do is take a look at our special entry access scheme, Access Melbourne. You might even be eligible for a scholarship. Details and eligibility criteria are on the university's website. If you're Aboriginal or a Torres Strait Islander, the Willen Centre for Indigenous Arts and Cultural Development is here to support your art. Before you apply, get in contact with them for some additional information about your study options. The application process for the Bachelor of Music consists of three parts. Part one, the VTAC application form. The VTAC website is where you'll want to head. Set up an account, pay a one-off fee, and you are all set to apply. VTAC applications open the first week of August to apply for our start of year intake. You'll want to check the website for the day applications close. Part two, your supplementary application form. Once you've applied for your course, you will be sent a link to complete a supplementary application form. The form will ask for a short personal statement about why you're interested in joining the course. And any relevant training, achievements and professional experience you may have. There is a fee to submit a supplementary application form, which can be waived for healthcare card holders, Indigenous students or for exceptional circumstances. Part 3. Your audition. If you're applying for start of year entry, all of the music majors require a video audition or folio which will be due in October or November. But if you are applying for performance, you may choose to attend a live audition in Melbourne instead. Performance and interactive composition offer early and late application rounds in either October or November to give applicants flexibility in choosing which due date to work towards. Don't worry, there is no priority shown to anyone who chooses to apply either online or live, early round or late round. What should you expect in your audition? For each music major, there are different audition requirements. For example, in the audition for jazz and improvisation, your performance time will be about 10 minutes. You'll be asked to perform two contrasting pieces of music, both featuring an improvised solo. A set list will be provided for at least one of your selections with the option to choose your second piece from world music or your own compositions. Shortlisted applicants will then be invited to a callback in November. For interactive composition auditions, you will need to include a folio of your original music from any source such as electronic dance music, classical concert music, pop songs or film music. You will also be asked to complete a creative task and to perform one of your own works. This can be supplied as audio or video recordings of compositions. Whether full works or sections of work, these should be no more than eight minutes long. To apply for composition, you'll need to submit a folio of original works. This should include a one minute test piece and three other original works for any medium, but make sure that at least one is in score format. Quick tip! Make sure that all scores are legibly notated. This can be by hand or computer. For an audition for music performance, you'll prepare 15 to 20 minutes of music, which should include at least three contrasting movements or pieces from the classical music tradition. If you are submitting a recorded audition, you will perform the full 15 to 20 minutes. Whereas in a live audition, you'll be asked to perform about 10 minutes of your repertoire. Although, if you are applying as a vocalist, your three pieces should take eight to 10 minutes, whether live or recorded. Your three choices should include contrasting styles, periods, and or composers. Quick tip, applicants for music performance should roughly be an AMEB grade five for singers 
and Grade 7 for instruments. You can also visit the Auditions and Interviews page on the University's study website to find out more. That's it for the application process. Hang on. What if you're interested in more than one instrument or specialisation? No problem. You'll only need to submit one VTAC application for the Bachelor of Music. Then complete a separate supplementary application form for each instrument or major. You'll be asked to demonstrate your proficiency on each instrument and may be required to attend or submit separate auditions. If you're interested in music studies, musicology or ethnomusicology, you will need to apply for the performance major and then specialise from second year. If you would like to study music alongside another degree, such as science or arts, you can apply directly to the university for the concurrent diploma of music once you have been offered a place in a bachelor's degree. This is the hard part, waiting for your outcome. We won't leave you waiting for too long though. You'll receive an advisory outcome email from the university in December for start of year entry. Dates for outcomes for media entry will be posted on the website. While it's not your formal offer, you will find out one of three things. Either one, you have a place in the course provided you meet all the entry requirements. Or two, you may have a place provided you meet the entry requirements and provisional to places being available in the course. Or three, unfortunately you have not been successful at this time. If you've not been successful, don't be disheartened. Many of our most successful students and alumni, even some of us, have applied multiple times before receiving their place. But when do you get your formal offer? Keep an eye on the VTAC website for offer round dates. If you're successful, you will be likely to get your formal offer in January. You can accept the offer on the VTAC website and get started straight away by enrolling in your course subjects. Best of luck. We can't wait for you to join us.